In this video, I'll show you how to build an obstacle detecting walking stick with an Arduino. The stick has an ultrasonic distance sensor that can measure the distance to obstacles in front of it. A buzzer beeps faster as the obstacle gets closer, giving an audible warning to the user. Now, as you can see here, I have everything just mounted on a wooden dowel, and this works fine as a prototype for demonstration purposes if you're doing something like science fair, but it's not going to be as durable for long-term real-world use. So part of this project, if you want to use something like this for a more long-term real-world application, is building something that's more durable. But I am just going to show you how to build a prototype and get it working, and then the rest of that design can be up to you. So looking a little closer here, you see I have an ultrasonic distance sensor with the pins just inserted into this tiny little micro breadboard that is hot glued to the bottom of the dowel. I then have solid core hookup wire zip tied to the dowel to run all the way up to the top where I have the Arduino, a full size breadboard with the buzzer, which is definitely overkill, but does give you room for expansion if you want to add more features to the project. We'll talk about some of those options later. I have an Arduino Uno, which again is kind of overkill when we're talking about physical size here, but it is the most common version used for intro projects and prototyping. So I have that mounted here for the prototype, but again, you could shrink this down to a smaller Arduino version to make it a little more ergonomic and portable. I also have a 9 volt battery and an inline switch with a barrel jack connector so you can turn the Arduino on and off without having to remove the battery. You can find a complete parts list if you check out the link in the description of this video. Here's how the circuit works. I have it all assembled on a breadboard here so you can see it all at once. On the breadboard, we have an ultrasonic distance sensor and a buzzer. The ultrasonic distance sensor sends out bursts of ultrasonic sound and measures how long they take to reflect back to the sensor. Knowing the speed of sound in air allows us to convert that time to a distance. The code running on the Arduino then converts that distance to a delay time for the buzzer. If the distance is above a certain threshold, then the buzzer doesn't beep at all. As the distance gets smaller and smaller, the delay for the buzzer gets shorter so it beeps faster. Now I'll demonstrate. Watch and listen to what happens as my hand gets closer to the sensor. Let's zoom in to take a quick look at the breadboard, although you can download the circuit diagram from the link in the video description. For the ultrasonic sensor, I am using an HCSRO4 sensor. This sensor has four pins, one for power, one for ground, one for the trigger pulse that activates the sensor, and one for the echo pulse that measures the duration of that return pulse of ultrasonic sound. For the buzzer, I am using an active buzzer here. This just requires two connections, one for a digital pin for the Arduino to turn the buzzer on, and then one to ground. Now, this buzzer can only produce one tone or frequency of sound. If you would like to produce different frequencies or tones, then you can switch to a passive buzzer instead and control it with some slightly different code. We have a tutorial about active and passive buzzers for the Arduino linked in the description of this video. Now let's take a look at the code, which you can download from the link in the description. First, we declare constant variables for the three pins we're using, the trigger pin and echo pin for the ultrasonic sensor and the buzzer pin. I then declare a threshold variable, which is a distance in centimeters below which I want to activate the buzzer. I then have three variables for the buzzer delay. I have the actual delay and the minimum and maximum values that I'm going to set for that delay. So you can change these values to change the minimum and maximum speeds for how fast the buzzer will beep. I then have variables for the duration of the ultrasonic pulse and the distance in centimeters. This code is based on the example code for the ping ultrasonic sensor that you can find built into the Arduino IDE, but modified for the four pin HCSRO4 ultrasonic sensor. In the setup function, I then use the pin mode command to set the trigger pin as an output, the echo pin as an input, and the buzzer pin as an output. If you want to use serial communication for debugging, you can also uncomment this line. In the loop function, we first send a trigger pulse to activate the ultrasonic sensor, so we do that by setting the trigger pin low. 
having a very short delay, just two microseconds, setting the trigger pin high, keeping it high for five microseconds, and then setting it low again. And again, that sends a short positive pulse to activate the sensor and have it send out a burst of ultrasonic sound. We then wait for the return pulse. That is going to tell us how long it took that burst of sound to reflect back to the sensor. We listen on the echo pin using the pulse in command. We then have a function. Again, this comes from the example code for the ping ultrasonic sensor, but it works the same way for the HCSR04 to convert that time to a distance in centimeters. So you can see the function that does that down here and read the comment to understand the math. After that, we have an if statement that is really the key part of the program. If the distance in centimeters is less than the threshold variable that we set, then we are going to calculate the buzzer delay using the Arduino map function. So this takes a variable, in this case the distance in centimeters, and maps it from one range to another range. So our first range here is between zero and the threshold distance, and then the second range is set by those buzzer delay min and buzzer delay max variables that I set at the beginning of the program. So for example, if I have my threshold set to 20 centimeters, then when the threshold is just below 20 centimeters, sorry, when the distance in centimeters is just below that threshold of 20 centimeters, then this map function is going to convert it to slightly below my buzzer delay max. And then the closer the distance gets to zero, the closer that buzzer delay is going to get to buzzer delay min. So the closer and closer an object gets, the shorter the delay gets, and the faster the buzzer is going to beep. After the map function, we then use the digital write command to set the buzzer pin high. We have that delay that we just calculated. We set the buzzer pin low and we have another delay. So what will happen, as long as the object remains closer to the sensor than this threshold variable, is the code will go through the loop and just keep coming back, toggling the buzzer pin high and low, making the buzzer beep on and off. The moment the distance becomes greater than or equal to this threshold, then we would enter the else part of this if statement, and here we are just turning the buzzer off so we don't have any beeping at all. So if there is no nearby obstacle and you don't want constant background beeping that is why you would just set the buzzer low so you don't have it beeping all the time you're only going to have that beeping start if you get closer to an obstacle than the distance you've defined in this threshold variable so again when you are editing the code you can change that threshold distance and change the buzzer delay min and delay max to change the behavior of the buzzer as you approach an obstacle Finally, if you need to debug and make sure your sensor is working, you can uncomment this serial print line here to print the distance in centimeters out to the serial monitor. You could also add another line to print the buzzer delay that you're calculating to make sure that is working properly. There are many other things you could do to customize this project. For example, you could add a potentiometer to allow the user to adjust that threshold for the alarm without having to edit the code or you could add multiple ultrasonic sensors to detect obstacles in multiple directions. Remember that for the parts list, circuit diagram, and example code, you can check out the link in the video description. For over a thousand other projects in all areas of science and engineering, check out the rest of our YouTube channel and our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.